So we've had a dry fall and winter, and even though we might be getting some water this spring, our trees are still showing signs of drought stress. That can look like trees that are slow to leaf out, trees with leaves that are smaller than usual, or even show some tip dieback. So there are still some things that you can do to help your trees fight this drought stress. That will include supplemental watering and mulching. But before we get the hose out, it's important to think about and determine how much water our trees really need. Because overwatering is just as problematic as underwatering. So to check the soil moisture, we'll use a long screwdriver or a soil probe. And what we wanna do is stick that soil probe into the, into the ground six to nine inches because that's where most of the absorbing roots are. If we pull that out, kind of like sticking a toothpick in a cake batter and the soil is moist, then it's probably okay and we don't need to water. But if we stick that soil probe in there and we either can't get the soil probe down six to nine inches or it's dry and dusty, then we probably need to add some supplemental watering. So we'll water new and young trees a little bit differently than our mature trees. When we're watering our young trees, um, what we wanna do is think about establishing deeper roots. And that will look like potentially using a five gallon bucket with a quarter inch hole in the bottom. You can estimate how much water a tree needs by using 10 gallons of water for each inch of trunk diameter. That means a two inch diameter tree would need about 20 gallons of water. So if you're using your five gallon bucket, that's four or five gallon buckets. As we think about watering our mature trees, even though they have larger roots, they still need help when it's this dry outside. So what we wanna do is instead of using the five gallon bucket, we'll use a soaker hose and we can spiral that in a pattern kind of near the tree's canopy. Then what you do is turn on your water and kind of let it run for an hour and then come back and recheck using your soil probe. You may need to keep going and water just until you get until that top six to nine inches of soil is moist. Another thing, you can't just rely on water alone. Mulching is something that we can do that's pretty easy and that can really help our landscapes. So adding two to four inches of an organic wood chip mulch is a great way to support your trees during periods of drought. A common mistake that we often see is that folks rely on their uh, lawn irrigation systems to provide water and think that's enough for their trees. But watering deeply for turf is only four to six inches, wherein that's not enough for our tree roots as we've talked about. Prioritizing watering your woody trees is a great way to keep your landscape healthy and sustainable, even during these periods of drought and challenging growing conditions. For more information, check out your local extension office and they'd be happy to help you out.